and welcome back to the channel hope we're all doing well something a little different today as we begin a, a new adventure in railroader which is a a new early access game available on steam just a quick question can everybody hear me and hear the game let's just uh quickly jump into this Hopefully that whistled for you. Yep, good. We uh, we shall continue. So what I thought we'd do is we'd start beginning uh, with uh, the tutorial. We'll start really all the way back at the start. So if you've never played this before, then uh, you get a, a nice flavour of what it's all about. Uh, good evening to Fox Red Buddy and Sugar Rush. Hope you're both doing okay. So we'll just quick up the the tutorial. So, we begin with our railroad uh, just after a flood. So it's uh, washed away, lots of bridges and that sort of thing. Uh, and we've got to work it up from the bottom all the way back up to the top again. So we've currently got two locos. Number two, which is here in Steam ready. And number one that's over there. We will uh, we'll get to that in a minute as we work through the tutorial. So... As I've just said, we uh, tutorial is going to go through how to get with the uh, familiar with the engine, take on coal, rescue the derailed loco, uh, order more coal, and run a passenger train, and then set up some uh, contracts for our customers. Right, so key number one is the first person camera, which we're already in, and two is the overhead camera. Middle mouse reset zoom and space bars to jump. It's all fairly self explanatory. Shift to run. That's, that'll make it nice and easy for getting towards uh, points and that sort of thing. And uh, then in the overhead, the controls for. Yeah, controls to make that go quicker. Right, let's get back into our. First person view, and let's climb aboard the engine. So, just walk up to it. And in we go. This is our engine, number two. Ah, it's got some coal in it ready. So, so what's sad looks to be the, uh, the walk. And we can walk up to here and sit in. That's all good. Can lean out with E and Q, so we get a proper nice uh, driver's eye view. Opening the window by clicking it. Right. So we got the throttle reverser, independent brake, and train brake. Independent is, of course, for when you're just running light engine. Train brakes for use uh, slowing down or stopping a train using the brake lines. Uh, slow to release. Yep. So the throttle set between 0 and 100% controls how much steam is sent to the pistons, which makes the engine go quicker. Reverser is set between minus 100% and 100%. Push the reverser all the way forward at low speed and then wind it back. Think of it as gears on a bike. That's always a good way to go about it. Right, so, let's go to the overhead camera then, and let's uh, get control of the engine. So you want to control click to uh, bring up this menu down on the bottom right, and you can click and follow it. Once we've done that then, we can move on to the next section. HUD controls, so you've got the... Train brake top, independent brake bottom left, reverser and power. All nice and simple. So you can just see at the bottom left, just as we put on the brakes, you can see that uh, the brakes come on and off and that's shown with the different colours. So we've got the, the bell, B for bell. A 
that's all nice and good. V for the quill whistle. And then we've got J for the headlights. Uh, end of train is 9, 0 is front. Control and 0 is to jump to the where we are. Right. Let's go and fill up with some water and coal, which is just over here. So what we can do is we need to set our switches. So we'll, we'll go into the uh, follow view. We now need to check whether our points are set. Now we do these. By just hovering over them and switching them, so we can see that uh, that's set ready for us. This one's already set, and this one needs changing. Right, so that's everything that needs to get us moving. So if we get going, all oh, throttle brakes are off ready. And off we go. Uh, thank you very much for the subscription there, Fox Red Buddy. Hope you're having a nice evening. And also hello to uh, Reverb. Uh, thank you very much for the support, Fox Red Buddy. Hope you're enjoying the, the streams being back. Right, let's not try to uh, overrun. So just to the left of the camera here is our water tower and coal. Once we uh, once we've lined up, we'll have a look at what the uh, the tutorial says. So let's come to a stop there. We can have a look at what the tutorial says. Right. So we've done gone through how to uh, change switches or points in it, as we refer to them in the UK. So we've moved off and we want to use the independent brake which we used. Right, so we want to find the water hatch which is just at the back of the tender. So yep, so we'll click that and open the tender, uh, the hatch. We want to line this up with the water column. There should do it. Uh... Right, so we need to click the water tower to rotate it. Now obviously, water is what's needed for making the steam to go, the steam engine to go. It's unlimited on it on this railway. Um, and we can find a number of these, but if, if we do run out of water, then the engine won't be able to go. Right, just while we're going on to the coal, the one of the things we do need to get is coal. So this wagon here needs to go to the, the interchange, which we'll cover in a bit. Um, obviously, we need to shunt this one out because this one's pretty much empty. Um, but we need to make sure we're under our coal hopper to get it into the tender. Do that once we've filled up with water. Right, that's all topped up, so we'll close this hatch to make sure we don't lose anything. Release the brakes, shunt a little bit up, and stop, that should be okay. Right. This shouldn't take too long because uh, this coal is is pretty much empty we're just using the last bit up that's in the coal chute so once we've done this we can uh, move on right so if you've never played railroader before or ever seen any, any streams before if we click m you'll see our map this is where number one and number two are this is our witty interchange is what we'll call is what this is called now if we zoom out you'll see the 
expansive map that does come with this uh, at early access. You get all of these, um, all of these stations you got to deliver to different freight passengers need taking there. Um, but you'll notice that some of this is all blanked out. So, for example, we c we can start here in Whittier and we can go to Ella. Um, we'll move on to what happens after Ella in a in a little bit. Um, but that's our map. We can also jump around using Control T. So if we wanted to go to the station, just hover over your mouse into the Whittier station, Control T, and it'll take you straight there. So this is Whittier station, which is just around the corner from where we are based. We'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. Right, jump back into our engine. We can scroll. Right, so next need to go and find our um find our wagon uh sorry not wagon derailed engine um but first i can see that there is an advert just about to start so what i'm going to do is just quickly pause the game here let that run and we'll be back in uh, two minutes and then we can free to play on after that right welcome back everybody that's the adverts out of the way for the next half an hour so as I was saying, we're now fully ready to um, go and get our broken down engine. So what we need to do next is we need to make sure our points are all set right. So we need to come back here, reverse down to there, and go and cut, um, go park rather close to the engine, but not so close because we need to uh, re-rail it. So back to the uh, back to the engine in question. Release the brakes, and off we go. Not too quick, because we're only not going too far away. So what you do get to do is you get to name your, your railroad. Uh, when you start the game you can pick whatever you want or you can pick what they, whatever they've suggested we've just gone for what they've suggested because that sounded quite a nice uh, railroad to be running so are we past the points we are that's good bring that to a stop then there we go so we can switch this point over because we're going down here just a quick double check as well down here but that's working so I can head back towards this low core now and then we can double check what's next on the tutorial So if you're just joining us, then we've just started out uh, a new adventure on Railroader, which is an early access um, railway simulation game on Steam. Uh, so it's set in America, um, in, and we begin with some uh, two locos. One's a bit broken and needs mending, which we're just doing now. But early, later on in the game, you can actually buy diesel locos. Right, so here's our loco that's derailed to come off the tracks. I promise I wasn't driving this one. Let's check the tutorial. Uh, so, now we get into the wreck. So we've managed to do this. So, we want to re-rail this uh, loco because it's actually derailed because of the flood water. All of its coal and water are gone, so it can be repaired, but it's going to take some time. So we want to walk alongside it and shift R. There we go. That's back on the on the railway. Uh, we want to also do that for the tender, so we'll do that as well. 
Right. We've managed to reel re reel those two. So now we can walk drive back uh, at five miles an hour and um, couple up to it. So what we can do is we can jump back in the cab and use this view because that's where we can reopen it after. I want to go too quick. Five miles an hour is um, what they recommend. Five or below will be fine. Um, anything more than five you could end up damaging and derailing uh, wagons or locos. We'll keep it to below. Below five. Right. Come to a stop there. Right. Right, so now we're all good for taking this back to the workshop, which is where we started out at the start of the stream. We don't need to connect to the air, but the we if this was a normal engine, then we'd need to connect the, these pipes up. But uh, we're not connecting the air on this one. So. Let's take this back to the sheds. So we're clear back to where we started and then we'll need to change that point to push it back into the green building just there. Let's get going. K opens up your cylinder cocks. It doesn't tell you that in the instructions. Um, there's just a little tip for you. follow this up the hill we might need a bit more power because of the hill the new hanover railroad uh, is that is that local to you reverb or is that just uh, is that just one of your favorite companies no you don't want to go too quick or yeah as you say it'll be derailed again and we don't want that that'll be the last time we're re railing any wagons or or locos or that Hopefully. Right. That should do enough. Not to go too quick. There we go. So the good thing is you don't need to get out of the uh, out of the cab all the time. You can just use the free roam camera to uh, go about switching points. I, I think we should start a timer to see how long it's going to. Uh, uh, going to take before I actually need to re-rail it. That would be funny to see. Alright, so we're going back into here. I have a great man's thinker like here. Let's get one of those counters set up. So these points are all set, ready to go straight back in. We're going to take the uh, right hand side. So let's uh, push this back in. There we are, not too quick. We only have one set of brakes. So you can see here that we are, bottom left, we are running NR2, which is our co company code and local number. So we're running four cars, which is two engines, two tenders, and it also tells you what weight that's, that is. That's 140 tonnes, and that'll increase. Um, you can see as well, bottom left there is a, a yellow triangle in between the two locos and that's warning you that uh, the air isn't connected so if you're ever ever with wagons and that symbol came up then you obviously need to uh, need to go and check whether your air is connected now the flange squeal does tend to suggest um, if you were going round a corner at say 40 miles an hour that you needed to slow down um,
easily does it into there. Bring it down a little bit because it is a dead end. The left hand track does stick out a bit. This one doesn't really stick out at all. And in we come. That should be far enough in. The bell does work, so if you press bell, uh, B for bell. And then you've got H and shift H uh, and then V for designing your own whistle. Hello to DK Muggy. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to refill the, the water and the coal um, soon. Uh, we don't have any coal left in our coal hopper because we've just started out this map. Um, and this loco here, number one, uh, needs repairing before it can have any water or coal popped in it. Um, so we'll we'll be able to uh, be able to fill that up with coal and water once we've um, once it's been mended. Right. So we need to come out of the loco now and jump in. We all need to just jump on here and put the handbrake on, and we can also click the coupling to open it. So we're ready to go. Let's uh, let's have a look at the tutorial. So we've taken it to the shed. We now need to hire a worker to fix it. Uh, so we can open the company window with I. And this is where all your settings, your if you so it uh, this game's also multiplayer. So if you've got any friends playing along with you, then you uh, you can see who's playing here. You can see all your equipment finance for your opening balance and all of that loans milestones which is all of the different things you need to uh, complete locations so this will grow as you expand your network um, so you can see here we only got a few but i'm sure this will expand as we expand with it and also we have our railroad so you can see here that um there isn't much to it because we've just started, but uh, you'll see here like safety, reputation, um, efficiency, that sort of thing. So we need to go onto the locations tab and you'll see here we've got the East Whittier engine service. So if we click that, we need to hire a worker. Uh, so I think we'll just stick at one, uh, one worker at the minute because... Um, you don't want to be paying somebody for doing nothing. Um, so, once we've done that, we can exit our crew area. Right, so, I'll ju just jump back in the, the engine and then we can go flying around. So, next thing to work out is about waybills and interchanges. So, over here is the interchange. Now, as this shows here... This is where wagons come in from the big cities um, and then it's our job then to split these off into various branches, sidings, that sort of thing. The interchange here is served every day at 6am. Um, if you've got empty cars here then the big railroad company will take those away when they deliver their full wagons. Um, So the way bills are the bit the paperwork effectively that um lets you um take them and shows you where it needs to go. So we'll start over here with the interchange. So we we tend not to set the way bills, but there are a few way bills we do need to set, like the coal and such. So, most of the freight um, is going to be for the customers, but we need to keep our railroad running. For example, coal. Uh, calling towers and conveyors provide the coal for the engines, but it's up to us to refuel those. Um, so we can buy more hoppers as we expand, but they've already given us a hopper down here. Hello, just a hillbilly. How are you doing? Um, hope you're doing well. So we'll start over here with our hopper. 
So just like we did when we went on to the the local, we need to control click and this will bring up another menu which is now in the middle of the screen. Tells you um what condition it's in, um whether it's got the handbrake on. So I actually think they should have had the handbrake applied, but um that's alright. You can also um tell it where you need to repair it and you can also sell it if you needed to. Um but the most important thing so far that we need to do is we all this is where we set the waybills. So if we just click tab, you can see that this has got no waybill set as because it just shows the uh, the company code and the wagon number. Uh, so uh, just a hillbilly um, says pleasantly surprised to see you playing railroader. Um, yeah, I mean, we enjoy the um, the shunting aspect of it. Um, there used to be some good scenarios on Microsoft Train Simulator um, where you had to go to all of these different stations, drop off your wagons, and they'd all be in a, a big muddle, so you'd have to do a number of shunts and that sort of thing. It's a lot better. We found that a lot more enjoyable than just sitting at 125 going down the ECML. Um, so I think they've done this really well, and... Uh, really enjoying playing this one so we need to as you can see here we need to set where these are going so we need to say that um when it's empty it goes back to the interchange which is just down there and when it's loaded it's going to come to east whittier coal loader which is just here so that's all set up now so you can see here that it's changed color now this, as this tutorial says, that it, uh, it also means that it needs to go down to the interchange. You can see that being highlighted just there. Uh, so this needs, this basically means it's ready to go back to be refueled. Um, now this will be loaded up overnight and be ready the next morning, as it says over here. And then we can pull it, push it back into here, which we'll see tomorrow morning. So as it just says here, if you tap tab, you'll see that this is ready to go. And it also, as I've just said, if you hover over it, it'll show you where it needs to go. Obviously, it won't always be as easy as just seeing it right there. But uh, it gives you a good opportunity when you arrive in a, a new place. Just hover over it, see how far it is going. So the next job is to... Um, move this over to the interchange so we've got a couple of points to change um, which is this first one just down here right so this time we do need to connect the brake line so let's swap over the uh, the points here so that's all set right what we'll do jump back into the follow cab just turn the tab off for now we're all disconnected from that engine behind. Uh, so if you're just joining us, then we're just starting out a new adventure on Railroader, which is a new early access uh, game available on Steam. Think of it a bit like Train Sim meets Transport Fever, where you've got to expand and make sure you're delivering the goods to the people who need them. So we'll ju we're just coupling up to this coal hopper here because it's empty and ready for reloading. So we've got, got to be careful because there is a buffer stop there so we can't overrun. Those who don't know, anything up to 5 is a safe, safe speed to be coupling up at. But I think something around the 2 mark is more than, more than enough. You don't want to be going too quick. Right, let's, uh, so we need to click uh, to connect the brake lines. Um, these are air brakes, so they need to uh, help release the brakes on the wagons. So you can either click to connect them, and then we need to open up the, uh, the angle cock. So we've got one there and one there. Or alternatively, you can, if I just close those and decouple them, what you can do is you can shift click and it will do both of those together. 
So that's a much better way to do it rather than going, why am I not going? It's probably because one of your angle cocks is not open and your air brakes aren't releasing. So we've managed to connect up that. So we now need to take this over to the over to the interchange. So what we can do is we can reverse back towards that loco, push it out onto the main line. We're all good to go. So reverse now, release the brakes, and off we go. Yeah, it's a nice touch, isn't it? The um, having to do the grand heads and um, the angle cocks as well. It's a, it means you can uh, you can pick and choose how detailed you want it to be. Um, it's not something. Um, I mean, Train Sim World does do the manual coupling, but um, you kind of just click and it couples everything yourself. It doesn't actually um, doesn't actually couple the. You don't get the choice to couple your own brake pipes in. Yeah, you're absolutely right there. It does add a lot into the simulation, and uh, it's good to see. Feels like it's been made by. Um, Made by people who actually are real fans, that sort of thing. They understand what people have to do in the in the usual daily chores of when they when they're running a railway. Right, so we do have air now, so we can use this top left brake. Right. Let's, oh, it's decided we can refill. I've managed to park it in the right spot but that's all right so we can see here that the um the interchange is the left or right hand so anywhere in that anywhere in that yellow marker there will mark it as complete so these points here are set for this main line here so we can uh, can park it in there let's do just that So obviously as we expand our real railroad network this will get a lot more fuller as we dealing with a lot more customers that sort of thing that should do us just there nicely so just over on the left there is our caboose and first passenger carriage I think we'll be going on to those rather soon. Come to a stop there. And now we know this is all in ready on the uh, into the interchange because you can hover over it and see that you're in. Or you can see here that the colour's gone greyed out. So that um, uh, you can tell that's in. Um, if it wasn't in, then you need to just budge up a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're from the UK, so we're not actually sure what it's based on, but we've come to learn that it is based on a real-world branch, and you can actually see um, Google Images that uh, places like Bryson's, um, when we get there, Bryson's station is well-modelled and things like that, so... It's good. Um, it's not just not just a uh, a fictional route. So let's bring back up the tutorial. Um, so we've taken it over. We dropped it off. We need to close off the air brakes and open the coupler. And we also need to do the br uh, the handbrake so it doesn't roll away. And they will roll away. I have seen that. So all you need to do to apply the handbrake is hover over it and click, and that's now applied. And you can also see if I angle this right, the uh, the coach also has a purple marker, which means your handbrake is on. So let's disconnect the, the brake pipes and open the coupler. So next job is to run round and we're going to couple up to the, the caboose and the passenger car.
So let's let's do that. So what we can do is we can scoot ahead and double check whether our points are set. So we need to uh, need to block that across and we can also block that one around and our light engine has sped up immeasurably so we'll just ease off there we'll slow down a touch because uh need to just ease off a touch there we go uh thank you very much for the follow trucker jim hope you're doing well and enjoying the stream thank you very much for the support Let's come to a stop there. Was that going to be enough? That'll be enough there. Right, so we can flick that point over. And we can then set off in this direction. So we don't want to go in this one. We can go straight through here. And then back across. Right, so let's just close that tutorial up for a minute. Our points are all set, so let's go and grab... Reduce the reverser back a little bit to speed up. So Real Worlder is a single player or multiplayer, um, which is really good to see because there aren't many multiplayer Real Rare games um, around. Um, now if you are playing on your own then that's no biggie. Um, you can, um, what you can do is we'll, once we've got two um, locos we can actually uh, uh, run AI so you can set different um, trains to go different places which will come to soon um, but means you're not just that um, you can pick and choose what you want to do so that point is now set right so we can come back on to here yeah it's a really enjoyable game is uh, railroad you can happily lose hours in it really you can just kind of one of those games that you go oh just one more wagon parked up and uh, about 50 wagons later, you're still playing it. So, let's uh, ease back on to here. Again, not too quick. I don't want to crash into anyone. Oh, didn't go, didn't go quick enough, you see there. So if we just hold off and just go back a little bit. There we are. So, that's our passenger wagon coupled up. We also need to couple the caboose up. Somewhere for the guard to sit, of course. Right, that's the caboose coupled up. Now, so we, we can uh, colour this uh, coach any colour we want. We're going to cover this menu uh, in a minute, um, but you can couple these whatever colour you like. So, let's jump back to the tutorial. So, we've completed this and we want to run a passenger train to Whittier. So we want to we want to move our train up to Whittier now. So let's do a quick check that our points are set right. So we came back from here, so they're all okay. That one's coupled in okay, that one is as well. We'll cover the logs um, later on. Uh, this one needs changing because we're coming off onto the main line. 
Uh, that one's set right. That one's set right, set right, across the crossing and into Whittier. So that's all set right. So I can see that we're ready to depart for Whittier. Before that, I'm just going to go and grab a very quick drink. Um, feel free to do the same. I'll just pause the game here and then when I come back, we'll be ready to go to Whittier and on to Ella. So I'll uh, see you in a couple of minutes. Ready for our first train. Welcome back, everybody. Right, let's get right underway. We are heading to Whittier Station. Just over a mile to the station, so it shouldn't take us too long. So, a couple of... Uh, Rings on the whistle, and off we go. So if you're just joining us, then we've started out a new journey on Railroader, which is an early access game available on Steam. We've managed to uh, recover our derailed loco, which is now successfully in the workshop getting mended. We've also managed to drop off our coal hopper for refilling that's just down there. And now we're on our way to Whittier to form our first ever service to Ella. Can wind the reverser back to kind of halfway. Obviously, don't want it in neutral, but uh, it finds it a lot easier to speed up when it's not in full reverser. So obviously we're using the hood um, mainly, so if we just ease off, brake because we're coming through the points. But you can, if you so wish, control this completely from the, the cab area. So we've got our throttle here, so if we add a bit of throttle, there we go. Uh, our local brake is here, and our train brake is here. Um, we have the cylinder cocks down there, and our reverser is here. Our whistle is there, and our bell is over on the left where the fireman would sit. Let's open the hatch to let some fresh air in. Lean out so we get a good view. Coming into Whittier Station, which is just after this red water tower here. I want to overshoot because we've got passengers waiting. should do us so we want to get this coach kind of in in the middle kind of where this building is here that should do us there we are our caboose is probably overhanging the crossing but um imagine these barriers they'll they'll be fine right so we want to now tell uh, the station that this carriage where where the where the carriage is going so once again we can control click and again it tells you all you need to know about the lo uh, the, the coach 
Um, so we can say where it needs to go to. Um, and also on the passenger tab, this tells us where it, where it's going. So we're going to just go to Ella and back for now. So we first need to tell them that we're going to Ella. And if you then hover over the uh, passenger window on the building, you can see here that the passengers are, are frantically trying to get on our service. Um, we have about 25 people getting on this service so far. And it also tells you as well when you hover over how many freight way bills you've got in the area. So uh, it's really good when you finish your day's activities. Just a quick check over here. If it says um, zero freight, you've then not missed anything and you're not going to get done for any lateness. Uh, so we can customize here, as, as I mentioned before. So if we just customize this, we can set it to whatever number we want. Uh, you can also set whatever color you like. So I think it's only only fair we go for uh, company colors of course and you can also set the text to our whatever color you like so uh red and cream i put one too many f's there there we go and you can also copy to coupled so if you had a bunch of them you don't need to keep keep changing them you can just do that and it'll go straight through uh, so that's how you customise. Our passengers are also loaded as well. So we uh, we can jump to the map and check where we're going. So we're just going this short distance here to Ella. Um, been told to keep it to around 30 um, for this trip. Um, we're going to have a look at the limits um, soon. So we can get rid of the tutorial. We can uh, we can see here that um, this point here we need to check. So we can just Control T and click around the map. This is already set fine. Quick zoom out again, and we can just check that um, this point here is set right. So here's Ella. Um, completely different layout to the rest. Just a little hut here for Ella, um, but you do have plenty of sidings that we need to deliver things to. No, exactly, we can't have any uh, freebies being miscounted, can we? Right, that's all set up and the points are set, ready for us to go. So, everyone's on board, let's release the brakes and off we go. Now obviously this loco's not under really any strain with just one coach and one caboose. So it will get up to speed quite quickly. So told to keep it to around at 30. So obviously no derailing, we can't go that doing any of that. All right, is it um, if 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 you're you're quite uh, if you know the area, is this quite how it looks? Is this how you'd expect um, Whittier to look like? Obviously, we've never been to America in this area, so we we're, we're really going in blind. But uh, it looks really detailed. So yeah, look. Tell us about what your what your uh, your funny experience was, and uh, whether whether this is um, how detailed this area is for you as a personal experience. So we're out of the station limits, so let's increase to thirty. So you can just hover over the um, tender and you can see how much coal and how much water we've got. So we've got 3.3 tonnes of coal which um, is more than enough for um, one trip to Ella and back. And we've also got um, 3,700 gallons of water. Um. Oh, thank you. Yep, yeah, thank you. 
Or do we need a speed encounter as well? <laughs> there we are, gets down to 30. No need to go any quicker than that. I do like the way the the railway follows the uh, the river here. Reminds me a bit of the uh, the Welsh Highland Railway that runs through the Aberglassin Pass. So ah, you uh, you you met a dog, did you? That. Uh, So we're just coming up to a quick check, we're just coming up to the 30 mile an hour corner. Now this is a sharp corner so you really do want to be doing uh, a 30 round here. You will derail if you, you're going any faster than that really. We'll just take it easy of it, of it on a 26 round here I think. We're out of the 30, but uh, as we said, we're going to just stick to the 30 limit um, as we head towards Ella. So you can see that we're um, we're not too far now from Ella, where uh, our service can uh, cannot go any further at the minute. It was three of us in a car, and the friend in the passenger seat, driver's seat, told me not to say hi to the dog. I did anyways. Stuck myself out of the rear passenger window and. <laughs> I got visions of you now being stuck out of the, the the window now saying hello to a dog. <laughs> Middle two to let people of Ella that we're arriving. He's on the brakes as we come round because the station is just round the corner here. It is quite funny when you can see dogs thinking about what you're trying to do next. Um, right, we want, we want to be a bit further in. That should do it. Right, so now we've stopped, people should automatically get start getting off. We've got 20 passengers waiting to go back. He then kept getting in the way of the car whenever the... Oh, that you ended up in a bit of a bit of a circle then, almost like no way out. Yeah, that's the end of the run now for, for, for this particular run. So I'm not sure if the tutorial is going to mention it, but um, uh, it's not going to mention it just yet. But um, if we just quickly zoom down here. You can. Uh, this is the way to Bryson. So you can see here that the uh, the floods has actually washed away the the bridge here, which means that we can't actually get to Bryson. Um, so it's going to be our job to deliver the uh, the materials to fix this, um, which is one of the missions that we're going to start uh, later today. So you can see that's just popped up in the console. If we bring up the console this is where all the messages get delivered so you can see here that um, Ella station received passenger fares $27 for 27 fares so um, that means they've finished all getting off um, what we can also do is we can then 
do a control click back on the coach and tell it we're actually going back to Whittier and the uh, the 20 people that's waiting can then start boarding oh that sounds like a a, a real a real story for for telling the uh, telling your friends and family I bet everyone laughs when you when you uh, tell them that one right so our passengers are on so what we can do now is we can run into this loop run round and prepare for the return journey so let's just move into the uh, the loop obviously if we had a push pull set then we could uh, control it from the back but we don't so we have to run round So we'll just go off the crossing here and bring it to a stop. And then once we've run round, we can then discuss about um, a speed limits, which is the next part of the tutorial. So disconnect our pipes, open the coupling and apply the handbrake. That means we can then head off to run round. Let's just double check that our point set okay, which it is. If you are just joining us, then uh, welcome to the stream. We're on Railroader, which is a early access game on Steam, which is all about uh, expanding your network, delivering freight to different people, um, making sure your your trains are run safely and don't derail, uh, getting people from A to B as well. So we're just starting out, we just brought our first train into Ella. Um, we're just running around now, so we can uh, change that. And let's run round. Let's, uh, let's throw that switch back ready for uh, when we inevitably forget the next time. So this point's set here okay and we need to set this to go back onto the main line. Yeah, I'm not sure where it's going to, um, where, they, where they'd expand to really because for me as an early access game this has already got I mean, a lot of content here to uh, expand out to. So I'm, I'd be interested to see where they might be wanting to expand to themselves, really. Um, I mean, it's already a long way. Could you imagine Andrews needing something from over here? That that would be an incredible long, long, uh, an incredible journey. So we've uh, run round, we can uh, set our points and head back towards uh, our train. Yeah, I wasn't quite expecting it to be such a large map for a, an early access. Um, or even like uh, as a release, um, I was maybe seeing, thinking more DLC, but uh, they've done a really good job to include all of that for the base game. Right, try not to uh, crash into his caboose. Not want any accidents around here. There we are, we're all coupled in. Let's connect our pipes and release the uh, handbrake. So what we'll do just before we uh, set back off is we'll just double check. So we have three passengers waiting. So since we've got people waiting, we'll uh, reverse back in and let them get on. I think that would be a bit too harsh to just uh, <laughs> to, to just go past. Oh, that that 
I bet I bet that's a good excursion then to do all the way to Andrews. Right, in we come. So let's bring the, uh, the train brake in a little bit. Right, that's it. So we then three people should get on, which they have. So we've now got no people here and no freight, so that's fine. So we can... Uh, while we're here, let's uh, just have a look at the tutorial. So we're looking now at the speed limits. So the... Um, they don't have force any speed limits, but if you go too quick, you'll derail, and that'll cost you money. So, uh, most of the main line is okay for 35, um, but if there's a yellow speed sign, then you need to follow that. Main line siding switches are good for 25. Yard industrial and branch switches need to be treated as 15. So the line between Whittier and Ella here is 35, but that one sharp curve where we uh, needed to reduce to 30, you need to follow that. Oh, that's sad to hear that they stopped running their services. Um, do you think there's any chance they'll return? Or? Uh, they only go part way, that, uh, that is a shame, but uh, at least they're still running a few a few services then. And I bet I bet it is a really good train trip as well. Right, so let's get back to Whittier. We've covered the fares, so we we next our job is to assign some prospective. Uh, customers, which we'll do when uh, we get back to Whittier. So we can do 35 now, but uh, we just got to be careful not to derail anyway. So if you click on the uh, Control click on the lo uh, loco, it'll tell you exactly what it is. So this is a 41 ton, I'll just reduce down ready for the 30 speed limit. It's a 41 ton G16 Mogul. Yeah, I guess I guess as time passes the, the safety aspect, to y y it costs a lot to get the safety systems back, doesn't it, and that sort of thing. Um, the hidden costs, as it were. Oh, there's a lot of steep parts. Yeah, that's that's always a, a an issue, isn't it? Trying to get um, trains up and down uh, steep inclines, because obviously that provides needs even more power to get them up the hill. All right, let's speed back up to uh, 35 because we're out of the 30 limit now. As we approach back to Whittier. I think we'll just cut off around 31, 32 ish, I think. No need to rush back.
Oh, it is always the case of just how much money can you throw at it. Um, and yeah, as you, as you say, if there was freight opportunities, then that would also bring in another benefit. But if there isn't the freight, then you've got to rely on the passengers and that sort of thing. Um, I haven't... I'm not aware of the Durango Railroad reverb. Is the... Does it look... Does it look like this? Um... So we're just coming back into uh, Whittier now, and then once we part this up, we can um, leave the uh, the carriages in the station, and we can return this back towards the uh, the sheds for water. Obviously, we can't get any coal, but um, in the morning we can shunt that into the siding to get more coal. So that's not a biggie. And then we can also assign our first contracts. All ah, right, it's a narrow gauge line, is it? Come to a stop. We'll try and put the caboose just before the uh, the crossing, and then we can apply the handbrake for uh, its overnight halt. There we are. So they should start getting off now, which they are. So let's apply the handbrake. And let's just move off the crossing. Don't want any motorists getting fed up of waiting. And let's just stop there. So his next job then is to apply some contracts. Um, I can see that there is an ad brake um, flashing at me so we'll we'll take that ad break now get that out of the way and then we can assign some contracts and work towards um getting finished for the day and let's get ready for our first freight train so welcome back everybody so uh that's now out of the way we can crack on and get our contracts ready so quick check of the uh the tutorial so it says we can actually um, go towards the, the water tower here. So let's top off with some water first. Um, and then we will be good to um, assign our contract. Oh, nearly, nearly. Let's open up the hatch ready. And let's lower the fountain down. Hopefully that's in the right spot. Oh, spot on. Right, so while, while that is ongoing, let me just quickly catch back up with the chat while we've been away. Oh, so there's quite a few different uh, railroad companies then around the Silver area and um, Asheville. Um... It's interesting that um, there's so many, so many different ones, really, um, and I assume that do they all kind of own the same their own track bed, or is it kind of like here where Network Rail looks after the track bed and then the operating companies run the trains on them? Um, Yes, we have uh, quite a few S160s over here. I think we have... Oh, how many do we have? I can think of four straight straight off. Um, so there's the Big Jim, Omaha, and the two ones at the Churnet Valley. I can think of straight off. 
Big Jim's obviously out for overhaul, but um Ah, so they modify them then. Um Is there anything massively different to what we have over here? Uh yeah, reverb. Um this is a I, I quite enjoy this. Um obviously it's a bit slow at the start when you've only got one loco and things like that, but as as um as you grow and, and your reputation grows, all of these sidings here will need something either taking out or uh, uh, delivering, or then you need to take them back to the interchange, pick up some more. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to how this grows, really, seeing how uh, how in a couple of weeks' time, how, how many coaches we've got, um, are we double-heading things, that sort of thing. So hopefully you are all looking forward to it as well. So we need to assign some contracts now. So we have a couple here. I have Holfield, um, Stenzel and Whittier Sawmill. We'll, we'll come back to the sawmill after. Um, and then we've also got Ella Farm Supply. So it says we can take a couple ready. So I think we'll kick off with some tier one contracts on on all of them. That should give us a nice, um, a nice start. And what we can also do uh, is let's just check the tutorial. So it says that now we've arrived back, we can sleep, which we'll do in a couple of minutes. Um, we can also then check for where they're going and plan our day uh, as we go. It says that we need to prioritize putting the coal. Um, back in back in its spot so that we we can load up because we are now running low. Um, and as you can see here, that Whittier and Ella are happy to have the railroad back, and then we can expand to Bryson and, and beyond. So in the company window, we can open the milestone tab and repair Ella Bridge. So this has several stages. Um, so this is going to take a few in-game days to. Um, complete um, and as we grow we'll also need new equipment more way bills more finance that sort of thing so let's see if we can have a look at the we have um, the Ella Bridge project now this costs a thousand pounds but I do know that um, um, I think what we'll do is we'll tackle the First day's um, freight running, um, and then after the first day, we can then um, look to have our Ella Bridge supplies delivered from there. Um, so what we can do then is we can sleep. Um, obviously, as we get quick, um, quicker, more things. Um, yeah, we do think we should start the Ella Bridge. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So what we can do is we can start click start first phase. So we're going to take 13 cars to the bridge site. The, they'll be also delivered to the interchange at the same time. So I think we're about ready to go back to the sheds and sleep. Let me just double check I've put that handbrake on. Don't want anything... Uh, yeah, we've got the handbrake on. So let's return to the sheds. Obviously, I need to just double check the points are set correctly. They should be because that's where we uh, we set off not long ago. Back into the sidings. So yeah, all of these sidings here need something delivering too. So you can imagine how busy it's going to get. Just need to throw that across. We can then pull in alongside our broken engine of course let's just see what sort of state it's in so it, they're, they're working their magic on it that should be ready not so long uh not not too long away so that's all set up so let's uh move off you can also tell when a loco is damaged because um of how how its paintwork looks you can see here that's all shiny whereas the other one was rather rather dull and um rusted away so let's get back towards the sheds.
Right, so let's uh, get the speed up. Don't want to go too quick, of course, because we've got uh, the points to uh, negotiate first. Right. Not too far away now. Easily does it back into the uh, the sidings. Let's get back into the sidings and the shed, and then we can sleep. Yeah. So the um. The when they repair the bridge, they also offer better contracts and more passengers. Um, so it 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 all in turns helps. Uh, yeah, it's surprising how long it takes for them to repair locals, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's always surprising how lot many people. Um, like to see a, a local return to service so into the sheds we go that should do it it didn't take any attention to what uh, my points were saying was it but um that's fine we don't need to go into the sheds because we don't need repairing um, so we can uh, just park outside, there's no requirement to uh, need to disappear off anyway. So, now what we can do is we, uh, we're happy that um, everywhere's parked up and everything. Jump back into the, uh, the company profile and we can then just press sleep, which will sleep all the way till 6 when the interchange is served. So we just simply click sleep and that will go through all of the night and present you with a lovely sunset. So it, you can see here up here that um, in the console is we have our reputation has gone from 0% to 110%. That's brilliant. That helps to get um, more contracts, higher contracts. All of that, so we need to keep that reputation up. You can see here we've paid £150 for a, a wagon of coal, uh, and it also tells you here that East Whittier Interchange um, received 17 cars. So we'll, we'll leave the engine here for now while they're busy. Quick check on this engine 75%, so they're, they're making the way there, so maybe. On the next day cycle that might be ready to do some passenger trains that sort of thing and here is our load so let's have a quick look at these so the first one is our full coal uh, wagon so that we need to push that back into that coal loader so we can take on coal um that's a fairly self-explanatory one you can see here this is just the tab menu so you can see pressing tab turns these on and off. Really useful for planning where you're going to take these. So you can see here that uh, all of these here are all about the um, 
all for the Ella Bridge site. So the um, these need to go up to Ella, and then because it's only single line into Ella, we'll need to run round those and push them into into the up to the bridge site for them to work on. So there's a big bunch of wagons there. <clears throat> Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, my tab menu's disappeared. There we go. So I think there was eleven for eleven for Ella Bridge site. So that's um, all the different materials, and then we have an Ella supply. Um, two Ella, two for Ella supply, one for Stenzel, and one for Holfield. Uh, so what you can do is you can quickly click on the operations. You can uh, click where it says destination here and it'll take you straight to where it needs to go. So you can see here that uh, this is where Holefield is, which is just, you can see our wag, uh, coach and caboose just up there. It's going to pay us £65 when we deliver it. Um, that helps you to plan where you need to go. So it looks like um, for delivery that um, it's going to be quite a big shunt really because we need to take all of these up with the passenger train and we can also deliver the Stenzel and the whole field straight away um, before we set off so yeah certainly plenty of um, plenty of action to go so I think we'll uh, it's going to be a nice chuff up the uh, up the hill to get these up a bit of a a workhorse for the uh, the little engine but we'll definitely need to refill with coal before we set off so i think what we'll do is we'll um we'll end the stream here uh for this one so then when we hit the uh hit the next stream we can set straight back off ready for our mega train to ella so let me just quickly catch catch up with the chat before we uh, end the stream uh, so So just a hillbilly says uh, about the, the K class tomatoes. So is that your favourite uh, favorite loco then? Um, just a hillbilly, is that the one that you're happy to see? Um, I'm quite looking forward to getting the... Um, oh, I'm not sure what they're called again, but the, the, the logging tanks look good. Um, and we've also got the, uh, the Pacifics as well, because that looks a, a really beefy engine for uh, plenty of hauling around obviously when our balance is only three thousand eight hundred and ninety pounds we've got a bit to go before we can afford an eighteen thousand pound loco however as we as you've just said plenty of switching and plenty of money to be earned uh very much looking forward to seeing where this expands i'm going to be back on this tomorrow evening uh uk time ready for um taking our mega train up to Wella. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, for your uh, follows, chats, and subscriptions. Um, hopefully, I'll see you all back here tomorrow. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.